Hey, looks like we're live. Welcome back. Let's let a couple of people get on while we are getting ready for the live tonight. Weekly Warrior Happy Hour. I got my notes. I'm ready to go. Let's see what we got now. Yeah, let a couple people get on. Yeah, let folks know on that. Rocking and rolling today. Yes, indeed. All right. There we go. Here's some folks coming on. Good enough. How's it going? There they are. Folks starting to show up now. Yes, indeed. Yeah. Let a couple more folks get on before we get started. Welcome back to the Weekly Warrior Happy Hour by Champions and Legends. Now, on the Weekly Warrior Happy Hour, we bring together fitness professionals, trainers, pro and amateur athletes. We also bring on healthcare professionals to give us tips on uh, best practices on preparation, performance, and recovery. We also look at uh, fitness regimens, uh, and we also, of course, talk about CBD. And the whole idea is to give regular folks like you and me the edge, a way to get back in the game, stay in the game, and be the best versions of ourselves as we travel down our athletic journey, right? So um, Champions and Legends <clears throat> produces a hemp-derived CBD-based sports supplement line for athletic preparation, performance, and recovery. Now that's your pre-workout, your um, mid-workout and your post-workout all in one product line and it's fantastic I mean I'm enjoying the products and you can get yours for your gym bag at championsandlegends.com and not only will you be able to get the products you'll also get a wealth of knowledge there the truth about CBD there's a lot of noise going on out there and it's time to get the truth. Now, <clears throat> in 2018, uh, CBD was made legal all across the United States. And in fact, athletes all around the world are seeing great benefits in um, pain and inflammation control, uh, anxiety management, see sleep regularity, um, gut health, uh, increased better blood flow, and many more benefits to uh, using CBD in their uh, fitness regimen or just in their basic everyday life because we're all going through something and at one level or another we're an athlete. Everyone's an athlete from stress all the way to physical stress to mental stress. Um, and when we launch C when we, when we launched Champions and Legends, um, we launched with a, a, a roster of elite athletes who are not only using these products for their athletic journey it's in their gym bag, and they definitely stand by the Champions and Legends brand. Let me share with you some of those fine elite athletes using CBD and using Champions and Legends products. So I have uh, James Harrison, two-time Super Bowl champ. Ad, uh, we have Thor Bjornsson, you know, world's strongest man and actor from Game of Thrones. We have Adamandra and Tommy Caldwell. Uh, two of the top rock climbers in the world. Um, we have Pat Vellner and Sarah Sigmund's daughter who are CrossFit beasts in their own right um, and also using Champions and Legends products on their athletic journey. And then we have Jay Glazer who is a um, uh, 
amazing, uh, of course, color commentator and uh, writer for the NFL, but he's also a, an amazing martial arts expert. And then our most recent addition is Michael Vick, who was uh, recently featured in Forbes magazine for his partnership with Champs, Champions and Legends. And uh, we're looking forward to hearing more about his journey with CBD and, of course, hanging out with us on Champions and Legends. So um, the Champions and Legends products are off and running, made by athletes for all athletes. And that includes me and it includes you. Now this week we're doing something uh, interesting because you know we generally we talk about the physical side of things and what's happening and I think the uh, mental side is really uh, a big part of the physical side and um, we have the pleasure of having I'll say a a yoga mogul a guru of sorts motivational speaker um, not only a, a serial entrepreneur, um, but someone who can really give us insight on the mental side of this and the spiritual um, journey that you take that a lot of pro athletes are taking right now through yoga and the philosophies of yoga. So today I have Albina Rippey, yoga mogul on with me today. So I'm going to go out and see if I can find Albina on the guest list here. Let's see. There she is. All right. Join me. There she is. Albina, how are you? Hi, hi. Thank you so much for such a beautiful introduction. I really appreciate it. Of course. I'm the one that's honored to have you here. Honored to have you here. Yes. So, can you hear me well? I can hear you just fine. I can awesome. Hear you just fine. Thank you. Um, and and you're able to hear me, right? Say that again. You can hear me just fine, right? Yes. Yes. Oh, awesome! 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 I got I got notes. I did some research on you. It's like wow, You've done so much. And I mean, I want to start at the top. Let you tell me, tell us a little bit about your you know um i'm not hearing that well uchenna oh okay for some reason you're coming in and out and a moment ago i could hear you really well i don't know if it's my connection or what let me see what we got how about, how about a little better well let's just go ahead and try okay let's go ahead and try um let's see here you okay? Let's talk about yoga one. All right. Because you, you know, you had uh, multiple locations, and um, you sold it. And I want to know, what is you sell it? To, to, uh, yoga Works, right? Yes, we sold yes. Um, we sold our business to Yoga Works three years ago. Yes, yes, yes. Now that in itself <laughs> build a business big enough bought by another company that as an entrepreneur. But you sold everything. You just sold everything. You sold everything. But I, I heard that you sold everything. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> so, you, so you went on a journey? We did. We, we kind of did. Um, we did um, something that not that many people do. We sold all of our worldly possessions and we took off and traveled around the world for a year with our kids. Yeah. That is it. And you know, more people do that. You know, they yeah. To, to get in there. I still break it up. Is my signal still really? Yeah, bad? it's you're coming in and out and I don't know what, why it's happening. Yeah, I don't either. Um, I, I think Roberto is saying that you're really breaking up now. That's my experience as well. Yeah. Okay. Let me see if I can make a small adjustment here as we're on. Uh, let me see if I can make an adjustment. I don't know why it's breaking up, but let's see. How about now? Is that a little bit better? Yeah, I think that's much better. 
Oh, okay. I don't know what plugging it in uh, did, but it worked. Let's see here. Uh, let's see if we can do this without destroying the setup here. All right. All right. We're back. Okay, so you took a trip around the world with the kids, and you're back. And um, let's see here. Now you're a, you're a hotelier. That's right. <laughs> and I saw that, and I mean, but I have to visit the retreat. Now, if I read this correctly, you're at the His Historic Mountain Retreat Center, Blue Sky Retreat at San Geronimo Lodge in Taos, New Mexico. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Wow. Tell us about that. Well, uh, which part of it? I mean, right. it's been such a ride for a few for the last few years. And first of all, I just want to start by saying it's such an honor to be here with you. Um, thank you so much for the invitation. And if you're interested, yes, the, the journey has been quite amazing. And when I saw that, you know, you're asking me about Yoga One, what I do want to say, instead of telling you like how awesome it was and how awesome I am, I would much rather say that, you know, at Yoga One, everybody who came to Yoga One, we helped them live a happy, healthy, and abundant, inspired life. That was our higher purpose. That was our mission. That is the reason why it was such a successful business and such a thriving, beautiful community. And we carried that same message to our beautiful retreat here in Taos, New Mexico. So the purpose, the mission has remained the same to help people live a happy, healthy, inspired life is just a different avenue. <laughs> okay, okay, I love it. I mean, I'm a retreat guy. So yeah. I really I'm looking forward to visiting. Um, maybe I can get uh, Kiki Rouge to join us and uh, come in, out and visit. Uh, she speaks very highly of you. And Thank you. the work that you're doing is, is, is really amazing. In fact, that was what inspired me to call you um, because it's not just about yoga. There's right. more to it. It's more to it. And just on the front end, I have behind me, you know, yoga and meditation has been incorporated by so many professional athletes. Um, you know, it's got Michael Jordan here. We got uh, Tom Brady over here. And uh, let's see, Russell Wilson and, and, and LeBron James. All these guys are now incorporating an age old art of meditation. It's more Eastern oriented, right? And uh, it's just, let's just chat a little bit about that before we get into the details of what you're doing now. Yes, absolutely. And you know, I've taught yoga to the Houston Texans. I've taught yoga, you know, uh, the Houston Dynamos, the soccer team used to come to Yoga One a bunch. We had the stars of the Houston Astros, the Rockets come and practice yoga with us. Even A-Rod, when he was in Houston with J-Lo, guess where he got his yoga on? Oh, really? Yoga one. <laughs> <laughs> That's so, awesome. Yeah, since champions and legends are all about ath the athletes, you know, what I want to say is that throughout the years, we've had the pleasure and the honor to, you know, stretch with and meditate with many famous athletes. And, you know, regular people like you and I and a lot of people who are joining us on this Instagram live and yoga, you know, a lot of times people think, oh, yoga, you know, it's so boring. You just kind of sit and stretch. And then to those people, I said, well, have you ever been to a yoga class? You know, it can bring a, a super huge football player down to his knees. You know, it's, it's, it can be that challenging. And, you know, it's not only is it really great physically, it helps you stretch, it helps you relax, it helps you de-stress, but also the mental, the spiritual part of it, the emotional part of it. I mean, I'm sure you have heard of, you know, when people visualize their peak performance, right. their best performance. I mean, it's, it's just a meditation. It's a visualization meditation that helps you calm down it helps you focus on your desired outcome, and it's, it, it, it incredibly inc improves your performance. I mean, this is what professional athletes have done for many, many years. And one of my teachers and one of my mentors 
Tony Robbins, that's all he does when he works with professional athletes around the world. <laughs> okay, so that's one of his like little secret sauces, Tony Robbins, huh? Yeah, I love Tony Robbins. <laughs> and then you've had to, you've, you've worked with him some, right? Worked well, I've done all of his, I've done all of his seminars. I've done all of his, um, you know, classes that he teaches around the world. I even dance on stage. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm a Tony <laughs> Robbins dancer. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, I, I'm thinking about my personal athletic uh, journey. And I, you know, when I was in college, you know, I was a pretty good track athlete. And we got to a point to where physically we had reached our peak. And then it became a mental game. It became a way to take ourselves to a new level. But it, it wasn't happening on a physical level. We had to find ways to not only calm down, but to be able to, as you said earlier, visualize the, um, the outcome. And that's when things happen. In fact, just an example, um, for many, many years, no one had broken the four minute mile. That's right. And right after the, uh, I forget his name now, but right after he broke, the, the, the work it was broken, within the next year, there were several other people who went under four minutes in the mile. Why is that? It's the whole mental thing. We Absolutely. Once we receive it, we can achieve it, right? So, yes. Yeah, that reminds me. You know, me. and let me add to that, Uchenna, that um, there was a study done, and I don't remember the particulars, but there were a couple of groups of people, about basketball players, mm. and they did this study where one group, they practiced, you know, t three times a week. There was another group of people who... I mean, obviously, one group of people didn't do anything. Right. Another group of people who did their practice three times a week. And then the third group of people who didn't practice, but what they did is they, they meditated. They visualized a perfect game. And after a period of time, guess who performed best in the actual basketball game? I mean, not obviously not the people who sat around and did nothing. Right. But the shocking part was, you know, one would think that the people who, the team who practice three times a week would do the best. But as it turns out, the team who didn't practice but visualized their perfect uh, game oh. three times a week did the best. Their performance was the best. Just to show you the power of your mind and the power of you visualizing, or what in, in the language of yoga, we call it meditating on your desired outcome, on your peak performance. Yes, yes, that's amazing. See, and that's, that, that's what really jazzes me about having you on because we talk about preparation, performance, and recovery from a physical perspective all the time. And I know you have some regimens of your own to prepare yourself for functions, prepare yourself for anything that you're doing. And I, I would think that there'll be some parallels so yeah. Would you mind sharing like what your preparation uh, regimens might be to get in the game and to, to prepare yourself and, and things that you probably do for the athletes that you train? Yeah. So anytime, I mean, anytime I do anything with Jenna, anything from teaching yoga to the stadium full of people to sitting down to create something to uh, like preparing for a really important meeting. I have my daily rituals oh. and, you know, and one of them is I move my body. So I either go and go for a run or I do beach body, you know, real quick 30 minute cardio or weights. So that's one very important thing because the moment you start moving your body, you shift your inner state, you oh. get into your peak state. It's the, it's the fastest way to get to your peak state. And the second thing I do, no matter what, I do a mini meditation, so to speak, not only to breathe and relax, but to envision my desired outcome, mm -hmm. the, the perfect outcome. What is it that I want? So that's absolutely a part of my everyday ritual. See, that's, see, that's, that's and that sets the pace, that sets the, the tone for the rest of the day. Yeah. I see. I see. That makes sense. That makes sense. Now, you didn't mention that you did a yoga practice or anything like that, but it's, this was, it, was, it, it could be, that could be part. Absolutely, yeah. 
Right. Now, I mean, if you want a quick and easy, the fastest thing to do is just go for a run, right? It doesn't require anything. Right, right. Put actually, on your tennis and go running. Yeah, yeah, true, true. I actually have watched some of Tony Robbins stuff, and the first thing that he does is get everyone to get up and change their state, get into a right. weak state for, for even absorbing information. This is why the dancers come on on stage and get you to shake that booty, getting into a peak state. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about if you have nothing else, you get everybody hyped up for sure, right? That's right. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. Um, you know, we are going through a lot right now in our country and the world with the whole COVID situation and the social distancing. Um, what are your what are your uh, techniques maybe for managing stress um yeah. you know you know cbd is used for anxiety uh control and 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 if there's some other things that you do um uh, in re with regards to that yeah there are um i would say i do three things and you know it became really important for me to become even more disciplined about these three things mm -hmm. first I move my body every day, no matter what. So anything from running to beach body to yoga to a hike, but no matter what, I move my body every day. Because if you start, you know, I mean, obviously there is a lot of fear out there. There is a lot of worry out there. And the moment you start moving your body, the moment you start breathing, breathing your adrenaline gl glands start pumping. You know, um, I, I don't think it's, it's impossible to be depressed right after a really great workout. I just don't, your endorphins are pumping. Like it's impossible to be depressed right after the workout. That's true. The second thing that I do is my mental health, which is meditation. So every day, no matter what, um, I meditate. I work on my inner state. Do you know what I mean? On the health of my brain. And the third thing that I consider really important, it's um, diet. You know, and the third thing that I do is um, I do intermittent fasting. Oh. So, yeah, so I, I don't know if you've heard of it, but it's just giving your digestion a bit of a break. So my last meal is at 3 p.m. and I don't eat until the next morning. Oh, wow. So that, that I found that these three things give me lots of energy, give me lots of strength, give me lots of, you know, just like, I wouldn't even say optimism, but the correct state of mind to deal with whatever life throws your way, not just coronavirus, but really anything. Yeah. So it, it just, it boosts your overall energy levels and uh, your outlook. on That's on. right. Okay. And I do use CBD. I mean, um, I don't use, I use it. Um, I'll tell you specifically how I use it. Um, so we all hold stress somewhere in our bodies, whether True. you're uh, aware of it or not. So my place where I hold my stress is right here on my neck, in my neck. So sometimes once in a while, I wake up like, you know, and not, no amount of yoga and no amount of stretching helps with that. And the only thing that helps me is this CBD ointment that I put on my neck. And it helps me with pain management. It helps me relax. It's just like my magic wand. So yes. I have a little stick with me. And whenever my neck starts acting up, I use that. And it works like a miracle. That's awesome. Yeah, I, I, I hold my stress in my back. And yeah. In my glutes. I Interesting. Clench. Yeah. Then, and then right in the jaw area, when I'm really stressed, I, I, I clench my jaws as well. Yeah. But it's really great that you are aware, that you know, you know, and then once you know that you hold stress in these parts of your body, then you can consciously relax it. And then right. immediately, you know, everything starts with your physiology. The moment you rel relax it, everything else starts shifting. I can tell you when I'm stressed out or if I'm, I have a tension going, I, my creativity goes out the window, my uh, motivation goes out the window. And it's just, it's, it's amazing how it can affect every aspect of, you know, your daily life. Absolutely. In that. Yeah. Um, now, I, I, I see here that you, um, you have some other regimens that you do. I, I, won't, I won't even talk about the ice bath. I, I, <laughs> I, I can't even wrap my head around that. Um, 
but I do want to understand a little bit about your incantations. This is this falls in the uh, meditation uh, category, right? And the well, I not quite. Okay. So incantation is um, actually this is what I do, and this is now everybody and you, Chenna, get to see how weird I am. I'm totally <laughs> proud of my weirdness. So this is what I do. An incantation, uh, technically, it means like a magic spell. You know, okay. abracadabra, hocus pocus, or whatever, like the magic words that you say. Now, we all say a magic spell of some sorts in our everyday life. Now, the problem is that most of us say really lousy ma magic spells. Uh -huh. So we say things like, I'm so broke, I'm so tired, um, uh -huh. I'm such an idiot, I'm so fat, I'll never get married. You know, like I'm such a loser. So people say that either out loud or internally. And guess what? Those words have the magic. They have the power and they unlock the magic of us. You know, like people say, oh, I'm so fat. I'm so broke. I'm such an idiot. And then they wonder yeah. why they're fat, broke and alone, you know, because they say it all the time. So an incantation, a conscious incantation is the magic words that you choose consciously. And then when you say them over and over and over again, just like a magic spell, not only do you get to reprogram your mind, but you really get to shape your destiny. You get to create your reality. So here, are you ready for my weirdness? Yeah, I'm ready, I'm ready. So every day, every day, if I go for a run, right? Or I do my beach body. Do you know what beach body is? It's I like short work, okay, Chanti and all that. <laughs> So every time I do, it's the point is to wake up your your entire physicality. So my incantation is like every day and in every way, I'm strong, young, sexy, healthy, rich, abundant, creative, prosperous, divinely guided, infinitely loved, unstoppable, unbreakable, unshakable. And I say something like that over and over and over again with lots of passion. As I'm moving my body, I'm getting hot right now just talking about it. But by the, like, imagine 30 minutes of this, like, yeah, you know. Right, um, right. I will lead, not follow. I create, not destroy. Defy the odds. Step up. So after 30 minutes, I am pumped up. I am ready. Right. So whatever that is, either the work I'm doing or the meeting that I'm having or I'm creating, you know, I'm in my best state. So yes. this is what an incantation is. And as you can tell, I'm very passionate about it. <laughs> I can see, I'm, I'm pumped up just listening to you. Yeah. Like, okay, I gotta start doing, you know, it, there's a, you know, it, those declarations, those things set your mind in a place. Cause they, I, I don't know, was it was Wayne Dyer. Yeah. The, the thoughts become things. Yes. And, and if we put the right thoughts in our mind, then somehow you set a ripple of that follow through to happen and I, I have personally gone into like little ditches of yeah. negative thought and it seemed to spiral into uh, more negative things happening on the outside so it's, it's funny how we forget we, we know it man I know this and I know how to do this but then we slip and we forget yeah. somehow it's like ah you know how did I forget that I know that but yeah. that, thank you for sharing your weirdness yeah <laughs> i love it i love it an incantation because when i saw that you, you saw that you know when i did my research you said i heard incantation i'm thinking okay what are we talking about here i mean yeah. you know a spell of some sort what you know yeah it but is. I, I totally it get, is totally a spell yeah <clears throat> it is it is it is um let's see what else do you do here um i mean i'm telling you you, get, you got some powerful stuff ah here's something that really i wanted to talk about with you because I know the athletes do it. I did it some, but I didn't know what I was doing early on was breath work. Yeah. And you want to explain a little bit about breath work? Yeah. So my husband, who was supposed to join, but something came up, you know, he um, is a really great athlete. He was a great athlete in high school. He was a really great athlete in college. And, um, even he was telling me how when he ra ran track in high school, like how the breath was important. And then years later, when he was um, training for triathlons, 
that especially in his swimming, that swimming was all about his breath. Um, now, as yogis, you know, one of people think yoga is just a physical exercise. As a matter of fact, there are eight limbs of yoga. Physical stretching is just one limb of yoga. The other limbs are breathing, meditation, all of that. So we already talked a little bit about meditation, but one of the limbs of yoga is breath work, what we call pranayama. Prana means life force. Yama means harnessing. So you're harnessing, you're directing the life force. So breath work is absolutely important. If you're super stressed out, you know, your, your back is tense, you know, like your jaw is tense, all you need to remember is just take a couple of minutes to take a few really deep breaths. And instantaneously, you'll change your inner state. Your physiology will change. There is science behind it. Um, but in, in short, all you got to do is just remember, take a few really deep breaths. Yeah. Everything will change. You know, and it's funny because when you said that, I realized how shallow I'm breathing at the moment. Yeah. I'm not breathing very deeply like I would if I was in the most relaxed state or like resting, sleeping, you know? Um, so yes, I, I hear that, I hear that. So there's different types of breath work and I actually um, saw a video on Wim Hof. Yes, the ice man, speaking about ice baths, come on, that's how he does it, through breath work. <sighs> These guys can control their physicality through their breathing. So they don't, they're not affected by cold, they heal themselves from cold, from, you know, any type of virus or whatever they have through their control of their system. Absolutely. So people ask me, they ask me, how in the world can you lay in an ice cold bath for five minutes or whatnot? And I'm like, it's actually all about breath. Hmm. If you focus on your breath and you make it really long, then your nervous system, at first, because when you first get into the ice bath, you like freak out, right? You tense up, your brain goes like, what the heck? Your brain just goes like in the total shock. But then if you take a few really deep breaths and you focus all of your attention on your breath, your, your nervous system can relax. And then it actually, believe it or not, it's the most euphoric feeling ever. When you are in an ice bath, then you feel so alive, so full of energy. Like it's an, like incantation in a workout times a million. That's when you truly feel like, I can do anything. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. You feel your vitality. You feel your life force within you. Um, you got to try it if you've never tried it. Well, I've missed it because I was I was an athlete in college, and I had to take you know after running or whatever, we had to take these soaks in these ice yeah. fields. Oh, so you and, did it? Yeah, but I didn't, I wasn't mentally together. So uh, through the whole ah, 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 for, for however long I had to be in the water. Yeah, I, a totally different experience. But moving forward, I there's some a um, uh, lot of rehab and um, recovery centers that are coming up with cryo and and all. That's the, right. Yeah, cold therapy. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go in with a different mindset. Thanks. That's right. But all you do is just focus on your breath and slow it down, and you'll be fine. Awesome, awesome. You know, um, mental, spiritual. You know, um, and it's, there's a tie in to CBD as well, but we talk about, um, you know, sleep uh, control, not control, but actually soothing sleep, deeper sleep, uh, meditation, and those type of things, breath work help you get there. Mm -hmm. um, and we help folks get there, of course, through CBD uh, affecting the body almost in that same way, kind of. If you got it, if you can't, get out of your head about it. CBD has also been a way to help people get there. Do you use it for sleep at all? I I mean, I haven't needed it because I have things like yoga nidra and meditation and breath work. But I do know that um, my limited experience with CBD, well, like I said, when my neck hurts, um, it has been like magic. Yeah. But the first time I did, I was like, holy moly. You mean to tell me all I do is put it on my neck and then instantaneously I feel better? So that I was like, because I was a skeptic for a very long time, I was like, whatever, like it's so, you know, people just talk. 
And then I tried it, uh, and you know, I never went back. <laughs> hey, you can feel better naturally. And that's the whole yeah. idea is to keep that whole holistic. And, and again, you live a very holistic lifestyle. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. What, is the, what is the key to living a holistic lifestyle? Well, I, um, I think it goes back to those three things, you know, it's, um, it's overall health. Your ultimate health is not only the health of your physical body, which has to do with the physical movement and um, um, uh, clean eating, right? Eating uh, healthy foods, but also your mental state, your emotional, your spiritual body. And to me, that is the secret to the ultimate health. Keep, keep, take care of your body temple and take care of your mind temple, and then you'll be fine. Right, right. Is it more expensive to live a holistic lifestyle? No, nah. I don't think, I mean, like what? It doesn't cost know. you anything to sit and meditate. It doesn't cost you anything to go for a run. It's free. <laughs> I was thinking more about the food side of it. Um, well, the food side of it, you know, like I said, I pretty much eat everything and anything. I just zip up my mouth at three. That's it. You know? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, Absolutely. The intermittent fasting, you know, I give my digesting a, a break. I mean, I... I do I go eat McDonald's? No. Do I eat chips? No. I eat pretty clean and healthy. And I eat, you know, smaller amounts of food probably compared to an average person. Right, right. Okay, okay. There's one more thing I want, to sh want you to share with us. I've, I've okay. quote from you that was, yoga is in everything that you do. Yeah. You want to share with us a little bit about that? Absolutely. Um. You know, uh, to be honest with you, Chenna, after we sold Yoga One, for many different reasons, um, you know, there was some judgments and, you know, people are just, you know, whenever you fail, people are like, oh, I feel for you. Oh, poor you. But when you succeed, people are like, ah, you are such, such and such. You know, they just like, whatever, whether it's jealousy or whatnot, people just turn really weird. But anyway, so after we sold yoga one, I was like, I'm done with yoga. I was like, I'm done with all that drama, all these people, all this judgment, you know, I'm, I'm over it. And, and Roger, my husband is so wise. He was like, Alvina, everything is yoga. Everything is yoga. You know, um, us talking right now is yoga. You know, you eating a meal and being present and being mindful is yoga. What you say, what comes out of your mouth is mindfulness, it's yoga. You making conscious choices in, in life is yoga. All of it is yoga. So mm. if you look at it that way, you know, after I was like, I'm done with yoga. Uh, I came back to a re realization that everything is yoga and everything that life throws our way in terms of challenges and trials, mm -hmm. it's just another yoga. It's an opportunity for us to practice our yoga, which is remember to take a deep breath. And instead of reaction, you can respond. You always have a choice. Um, and, and, and all of that comes being grounded, right? Uh, when you're grounded, instead of reactive, when you're in your head, you're reactive, you blow up, you say things that you don't mean, the things that you regret afterwards. Right. You make stupid decisions when you're stressed out. But if you just remember to take a deep breath, you know, you get access to all of your innate wisdom and intelligence. I mean, I take it even further. I say when you take a deep breath, you invite the divine in. You know, you, you invite the divine in. You, you lean on the force bigger than you. Right. So you don't have to go through life on your own when you have this massive support system available to you at all times. And ultimately, Uchenna, that's what yoga is all about. You know, people think yoga is just a physical movement, but ultimately the word, word yoga means the union. The union meaning as we are all one. And for the longest time, I was like, I don't know what the heck that means. <laughs> it took me 20 years of yoga practice and meditation to was like, ah, oh, ah, oh, oh. that's what it's all about. It's Ultimately, yoga is we're all one. You know, we're one with the universe, we're one with each other, we're all energy. So, um, yeah, 
I don't even remember what your question was, but, but I guess the <laughs> is yoga is in everything was 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 your statement. So that's I right. Found on that, which you've done beautifully, beautifully. Thank um, you. Now we're coming to an end of our little journey together, and what I ask every guest is if there's a tip or if there's some saying or some um, uh, wisdom that they would share with the viewers to go go home with. What would that be? Yeah, well, since we talked about the breath, it's, um, it's a gift that one of my yoga teachers, Anna Forrest, has given me. And it's called Breath Formula. And it goes like this. Take a deep breath before you say anything. Mm. Take a deep breath before you say anything. Uh, I would uh, expound on that and say take a deep breath before doing anything. Because like I said earlier, when, you know, when we're stressed out, we're like, uh, when we're nervous, we tend to hold our breath and everything tightens up, right? right. And when you literally hold your breath, you become your stupidest self, literally. <laughs> you cut off yourself from the source. You tense up. You, you, yeah. you, you, know, you, you cut off access to the, from the innate intelligence of your whole body. But the moment you take a deep breath, you instantaneously access your innate knowing and like I said, it's like, I think even, um, you know, I heard somebody said that when you take a deep breath, it's like you're, it's, you're breathing in this Holy Spirit, you know, and it's kind of like that kind of energy. So right. take a deep breath before you say anything, take a deep breath before you do anything and everything will change. That is beautiful. That is beautiful. And I will take that advice and take yeah. it to the bank for sure, for sure. Yes. You've been wonderful. And I really appreciate you taking time to chat with me today and bring your wisdom to all the viewers. And I look forward to seeing you in person uh, at the resort. Yes. And, uh, and, and, you know, I know that you teach yogis and we didn't talk about this, but you create yogis and that journey of uh, learning yoga, doing yoga training. I think is probably good for everybody. I've just kind of gotten a little bit, I got a little birdie that's told me some, yeah. some of the, uh, the lessons and some of the things that have opened her up to uh, her whole life going through yoga training. So I think I might be a candidate for. Yeah. I, 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 and you know, um, Uchenna, it's not just, like I said, everything is yoga. So these days I do success coaching and that's anything from, actual yoga trainings to success coaching as in success in business, business coaching, success in intimate relationships, creating success abundance in terms of money, prosperity, and wealth. So remember, 80% of your success in anything is your psychology, is your inner state. So what I do is help people to switch certain things in their head so they can see the world differently. And when you see the world differently, when you connect to your true power, your innate power, then you become unstoppable, unbreakable, unshakable, like I say in my incantation, every <laughs> single day. <laughs> awesome. Well, I, I look forward to learning more from you. And once again, thank you. I'm honored to have you here on the Weekly Warrior Happy Hour with us tonight. It's my pleasure. Thank you so much. Cheers. We'll talk. Bye bye. Bye bye. Wow. I was moved. I was. I, I learned a bunch. Um, in fact, that's what I knew would happen if we got Albina on. Um, I'm not sure whether it's. I see a little spinning sign there. Okay, cool. But uh, thank you so much, Albina. Um, and. Maybe we can get Roger on one of these times because I know he's got uh, a lot to offer. Um, once again, with the Champions and Legends Weekly Warrior Happy Hour, Champions and Legends produces hemp derived CBD based sports supplements for athletic preparation, performance, and recovery. And once again, we've come to the end of the Weekly Warrior Happy Hour, and Albina was amazing. Um, and, you know, we got to get our mental game together as well. And CBD can also help with that. Um, so please go to championsandlegends.com. Check us out. Learn about CBD. Learn the truth about CBD. And we'll see you next time 
on the Weekly Warrior Happy Hour.